Hey guys, what's up? So today we'll be checking out this wireless Bluetooth mouse for my iPad Pro. So this is our charging cable and also the mouse. It also supports Android, Windows, Mac and Linux. And this is our user manual. So for comparison, here's what it looks like next to an Apple mouse. Almost identical, just a lot lighter. It also features a sleeping mode where the mouse will power off after eight minutes of inactivity. The clicks are very quiet, hardly noticeable. The only thing that's a little louder is that scroll wheel. This is the port where you'll plug it in to charge it, just like that. This is your on and off switch, along with your Bluetooth pairing button. So to set it up with the iPad, head over to settings and Bluetooth and press that pairing button on the bottom of the mouse and it should pop up. Once it pops up, go ahead and tap on mouse and press pair. And just wait for it to say connected. And just like that, it should start working. There goes the cursor on the screen. There are still a few more steps to get this perfect and to customize it to however you want it. So let's head back over to settings, go to accessibility, go to touch, and we'll want to turn assistive touch on. Once that's on, we'll be able to scroll left and right. So this mouse comes with three different modes. You'll tap that button and it will adjust the speeds of the pointer. So you just tap it and figure out the speed you want. So you can also adjust the scroll speed. To do that, go over to settings, go to accessibility and just click pointer control and adjust scrolling speed. Now let's take a look at how faster it scrolls. Very nice. Now to customize the buttons, let's head back over to pointer control and assistive touch settings. We'll click the mouse, left click to customize the left button and choose single tap. Now click the right button and select secondary click. Now we can hit the scroll wheel. Now let's click the scroll wheel and we'll set that to home and we should now be good to go. Click the scroll button, it takes us home. Double click it, it brings up the app switcher. Now let's see how it does in a browser. Left click opens the links, right click opens the menus. We can double tap the scroll wheel again, open the app switcher, or go home with one click. Let's take a look how it does in video editing apps. This app is LumaFusion. As you can see, I can scroll along the timeline, trim the clips, and just basically control anything. It also takes about an hour and a half to fully charge. Scrolling down to the bottom brings up the dock, or we can swipe up to go home. Click or swipe down from the top left to bring up your notifications. Same on the right, brings up your control center. Now if you have a USB mouse with a wireless adapter that you need to plug in, you'll need one of these adapters. And you'll just plug it in and it should instantly start working. The setup process is the same. Also your customizations are done the same. So for $13, I definitely recommend this mouse to add to your iPad accessories. If you guys are new here, Please subscribe to the channel, also give this video a thumbs up and comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on this mouse and this video overall. As always guys, thanks for watching and peace out.